Hello, this is Alan McNall Gamer. This is Paul. And this is Mario Kart 8. Now, a lot of people have uh, seen Mario Kart 8. It's been a lot of video footage been released. Uh, Nintendo's talked about it a lot. And while I was playing it, I enjoyed the game very much. It's clearly, there's been a lot of effort put into it. But I will say, it doesn't feel like Nintendo is really trying with this one. It's not that it's bad or anything, it's just that they're kind of ticking the boxes that they need to tick to make everyone quite pleased about Mario Kart. So you get the usual sound effects, the final lap sound effect, the box pickup sound effect, that kind of thing. And it's all very good, it's all very entertaining, and it's very well designed. That's true, but it still just feels like Nintendo should have done a little bit more than wants to sell these Wii U's. So what about the mechanic they've introduced where you can sort of drive up on the walls and everything? Does that not make a difference to it that much? Or? Well, this is kind of the big thing about, um, about Mario Kart 8 is that now you have anti-grav sections. And some of them are a force part of the track, so it's, it's just bending around in the air. Uh, others are relegated to side, uh, side tracks and, and shortcuts and things. Uh, and they're very well done. Like, it's, it's a good little feature, but it doesn't really change the, the core mechanics of the game. And that's not necessarily a criticism. Um, there's, there's a huge spectacle to be able to drive through the air and, and look at the ground below or above even um, and uh, yeah it, it adds a little bit of kind of enjoyment to the overall aesthetic of it but it doesn't really change the way the game plays and it's kind of cool with the shortcuts because um, for example towards Turnpike that's got, um, it's got anti-graph sections on the walls uh, and it has speed boosts and things like that and there's a lot of situations in each of the tracks where they are like that one. They, they are kind of extra sections you can find. Um, but these shortcuts don't really feel any more useful. Uh, sometimes they, they won't actually benefit you in any way. Um, except in towards turn back, you manage to skip out all the, all the danger of, of the vehicles you might hit. Um, it's one of those things where it's a nice little feature to have and to put in a box, but I don't think it really changes the core mechanics of the game. Is it a, a better racer than the last game that they did for the Wii though because I know a lot of people felt that that game wasn't that good as a racing game and they felt it was a bit too luck based and so on so has there been any improvement in that regard? Well this is kind of the best thing about it really because um, yeah you're right the, the, the Wii version was far more casual it was aimed at an audience for the, the people that were buying the Wii it was, it was a family audience um, and they were right to make that game a little bit more casual but with this one it is it, it does feel like there's a lot more depth to it so um, each of the, the jumps, that you, if you hop over them, you get a mini little boost. And a lot of the tracks are designed in such a way to, to utilise that. So if you're worried about the, the actual driving mechanics of the game, um, you, don't, you don't need to. This is, this is Mario Kart, this is what you want. Uh, it's got everything you need in there, even the horrible rubber banding um, that we all know and love. So I understand another one of the new things in this is the customization options that are in there. So what, what exactly are those? Yeah, there's a bigger level of customization here. So more than just being able to pick characters and, and the carts that you use, you can change what they look like, the tires you use, the, even the, the look of the, um, the the glider that you use when you're flying through the air. Uh, and it's, it's cool to be able to change all that and customize it, but there's not really that much depth to it. So it doesn't change the way it drives. It doesn't change any of that. It's, it's still dependent on which character you pick as to how fast you go and how, how high your top speed is. Um, and it's kind of a shame. You kind of hope they might do a little bit more. But ultimately, it, it doesn't matter. It's nice to have that, that extra effect there. And it's a good race for, by, by and large anyway. So having that option there and it's something to unlock and, and be rewarded for is it's going to keep people playing. Will it help Nintendo sell Wii U? Well, I don't think anything's going to help Nintendo sell so so Wii U now, but... Um, Harsh. Uh, true, though. Um, but Nintendo uh, have done a good job with Mario Kart, and I think that the people that have a Wii U should definitely buy this. This is by far one of the best Mario Kart games for a very long time. Um, but it, it's not doing anything different. It's not innovative enough. It's not really selling the console in any way. Even, even the touchscreen, you barely even notice it's there. It's, you can use it for a horn, it's got a map on it, but you don't, you don't need it. You don't, I, I don't think I ever looked at it when I was using it beyond the novelty of pressing the horn. So ultimately, probably not, because it doesn't give anyone a reason to buy the console. But it's still a good game, and um, certainly worth, if you do want to pick up a Wii U and you're considering it, this is certainly a game to get for that.